How's it going everyone? So on this video, we're going to be talking about Honda and Acura parts and vehicle thefts. Unfortunately, this is something that we have to deal with. And no, the stuff I mentioned isn't anything new to these guys, but as many objects as you could put in their way, the better they are or you are at combating them. So you want to make sure your car looks as uh, theft proof as possible and they won't pick on your car and potentially move on to somebody else's car. Unfortunately, that's just how it is. So again, uh, thieves, they know way more stuff way before we do. They come with all sorts of tricks and, stip and, and stuff like that to uh, get these cars, get the parts they want. And if they want it bad enough, they're going to get it. But again, the idea of this video is to, so you're uh, aware that this is an issue and you could try and combat some of these, um, you know, objects that they are after or the whole vehicle in some cases. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. So uh, unfortunately, this does seem to be isolated to bigger and more dense uh, cities. It can happen in obviously more rural areas as well, but it does seem to be a bigger problem in bigger cities like New York City, where I am uh, closely located here in my area. So not to pick on New York City, but that's the closest um, you know target area for them. So that's the one I'm going to talk about. This could happen across any city in America, Canada, or any other country. So just something for you guys to be on alert and aware about. So uh, some of the things are going to be free. Some of them are gonna be something you can purchase and install yourself. Some of these things, you're going to have to pay somebody professionally to install them. So we'll get started with one of the easiest and quickest things you could do. And this is a, a RimGuard wheel locks uh, made by uh, RimGuard themselves. So I have a link to basically everything I'm gonna be talking about in the description section down below if you wanna check that out. And they're actually very sleek. They almost look like a center cap that covers the lug nuts for the wheels. Very effective. The OEM Honda ones are not very effective. Although if you do choose to go with OEM Honda ones, get at least two of them across from each other and don't keep the wheel locks in the car. Or if you do, keep them tucked away, hide them. Don't tell anybody, just so where you know where they are. And again, they don't want to be bothered with going the extra mile. They want the low hanging fruit. So rim guards, I'll have it in the description section down below. The next one being is anti-theft radar brackets. Now we have available at this time for the 17 and newer CRVs and the 18 and newer Accords. Um, the new pilots is also an issue, although um, they are not manufactured yet. And I don't manufacture these myself, but I'm, I, I'm in con close contact with the, the, um, the person making these hands on themselves. And we share ideas back and forth and uh, he gives them to me to try. And I tell them if they need to be adjusted or whatnot. So as soon as there's something for the 25, or uh, excuse me, 23 and up pilot, um, I'm gonna make a video about it. But for now, again, the 17 and newer CRVs and the 18 and newer Accords. And the idea of these is just a metal bracket that gets uh, drilled and screwed onto the either the bracket or the grill itself on the current generation vehicle. So unfortunately, the new generation vehicles, they do um, have a plastic mounting base. So it's not as secure as the older generation, which was metal. Why Honda chose to do this, I'm not sure. We don't design this stuff, unfortunately. So we had to try and make it as um, you know timely as possible for them to try to take it and just put any obstacle we can in the way. So nothing is guaranteed once again, but it is something that you should definitely consider. There are after these radars, they are crazy easy to take. You could take one in like five seconds and they are very, very expensive to replace. And oftentimes they actually uh, end up damaging the grill or other things in a way to get these radars on the Accords. Actually, I've seen them take the whole grill. So, um, you know, take it for what you want, but I have the, the links in the description section down below. Um, some of them come with instructions, some don't. Just be aware if they are not installed properly, they can cause some issues with the radar itself and knock it out of range where it needs to be. So if you're in the area, I can most definitely install them for you. Um, if you're not in the area, then I'm gonna have the links to them in the description section down below. You can pick one up, have a mechanic install them, install them yourself, whatever you think fits your needs. So moving on, 
wheel boots. So I used to use one of these. I actually have one for my current car now. So it's just a boot that goes, it's a, a clamp that goes over the wheel. And I like to face the lock on the inside of the wheel. So obviously uh, this would be ideal if you also have wheel locks and this would keep the car from rolling. Yes, it will cause some damage, but the car will be there. Most likely we're gonna get back. They actually sell sometimes and pack of two, which is even better. And they actually sell like the New York, New York style city ones that go over the uh, wheel locks as well as an option for you. It's very bulky. I'd probably consider the other ones uh, myself only, but uh, there's options, which is a uh, great. So um, steering uh, lock for the steering wheel, you know, we all remember the club from back in the day. They make much better and much beefier stuff nowadays. And this will be great uh, to keep them from stealing your airbag. Airbag driver and passenger oftentimes are big targets as well as the SRS unit. Now the SRS unit takes a while to remove. So in this case, it would probably take the whole car, which is where the wheel boot would come in and not just the SRS unit to, you know, take it out in the spot it is time consuming. But the airbag often takes one to five minutes to remove, especially the driver's side airbag. Obviously people get into accidents and they blow and it's a lot of, it's a lot more expensive to go and buy one versus stealing one and selling it in you know the black market. So this is why thieves like to take those because they get a quick buck and everyone on their end is happy. Uh, you know, with the exception of the owner that was targeted and now his airbag is missing. Now, usually they either break the door lock as well or the window. So again, uh, one thing leads to another and for them to get their airbag that they can sell for 100, 200 hours, they cause you a ton of headaches and money. So the club, maybe if they see the club, they'll walk away and they'll move on to the next vehicle. That's the idea here. So everything is removable with enough time but we're trying to deter them from targeting your vehicle. So next on the list is a pedal lock. So just like the steering wheel lock, this actually locks your pedal into place. Now, if you have an automatic car, you could most likely use it on the brake pedal. If you have a push to start, this will not allow them to start the vehicle because you need to depress the pedal. And if you can't depress it, they can't start it, they can't drive it away, which is uh, nice. And again, everything is removable with enough time, but the idea here is to, you know, let them move on to the next car, try to get bright colors so they see it from far away. Like, all right, this guy, this guy or this girl has, uh, you know, all these deterrents. Let move, let's move on to a different vehicle. Now, if your car is manual, you can either put on the brake pedal or the clutch pedal. Either one will work uh, just as effectively. So uh, moving on, uh, OBD2 port lock. And this is how they're stealing all these push to start vehicles. They're simply breaking into the vehicle, usually via the door lock, and then using a scanner, usually something higher end, to uh, program a new key to the vehicle. So if you have a OBD2 lock, then they can't communicate with the vehicle and they cannot program a new key to the vehicle. It's very easy to do. You can install it yourself. I highly recommend it. I'm gonna have the link in the description section down below. There's a couple of different options. You know, look for yourself, just get an idea, see what works best for you, but definitely a great and cheap and affordable option. Unfortunately, uh, if they don't see that, before they get in a vehicle, which they won't, they'll at least break your door lock or your window, and then they'll see that it has some sort of lock and probably move on at that point, but the damage is done. Uh, but this method is used to take a lot of TLX type S's. It's a very high in demand car uh, for thefts, even the A specs. Uh, so like the car I have is very targeted. Sometimes they'll take three or four in a night in this area. So uh, if you have one of these cars, definitely a great option, very subtle. You can take it out at any time if you needed to, um, and that works well. Now, the next thing is an alarm, a kill switch, GPS tracker, um, you know, Apple AirTag, any and all those devices work well. This is best, uh, you know, for your local market. So uh, consult a alarm specialist in your area, you know, uh, explain your, um, you know, situation to them and what you want, what you don't. There's tons and tons and tons of options, too many to cover personally, but this is probably one of the most effective options out there. Some of them have proximity sensors and you get close to it and, you know, the alarm goes off, whatever. Again, tons and tons of options. So definitely consider this uh, probably one of the more expensive options, but definitely one of the more secure options and just uh, deters uh, you know, the thieves in multiple ways. Uh, Apple AirTags, if you're using these, definitely uh, take out the mic because they can ping the mic and find the AirTags or use multiple, throw four or five 
in random places in the car, engine bay, trunk, carpet, whatever. Don't tell anybody it's there. Underneath the car with the magnet, whatever. Just get multiple of them. Uh, sing them to your phone and then that is also a great option for at least for you to know if the vehicle was stolen where it is at the moment so next thing is a faraday pouch and a box so uh, if they don't come prepared to do uh, an all keys lost type of situations which is what you need if you have no keys in a vehicle then they might try to steal the signal from your key this is where a faraday pouch or a bag comes in handy or sometimes uh, this actually happened, uh, somebody went out to a uh, nightclub and they were close enough to the car where they actually pinged the key from outside the club for their car. So if you have a Faraday pouch uh, that blocks the signal, aluminum foil also works well if you're at a friend's house and you have need something in emergency, wrap your key in, emer in an aluminum foil and that works great. If you park your car at home, uh, definitely keep it in a box or a pouch and as far as possible, from an, any exterior walls. I know some of these may not be ideal for every situation, but every situation is different. And you can use all these different options to see what's best for you, uh, you know, price range, uh, your living situation and all that good stuff. So definitely a pouch and a box. Sometimes they come all together in one package from Amazon and stuff like that. Definitely works great. And uh, something that's very cheap and affordable to uh, purchase. So um, some of these things again, uh, may not work for everyone if you cannot park your car in a garage obviously your garage would be ideal and again keep the car far away because they can't open up garage doors so um, you have to think of everything here especially if you have a high target vehicle so um, park in a well-lit area with multiple camera angles facing that area if possible if you don't have a camera in your house and you park in your garage uh, in your driveway uh, maybe it's time to get one if you park in the street maybe it's time to get one um you know whatever the case may be park in a well lit area so where if anybody is looking they happen to be outside um you know it's well lit they can't go and snatch a radar they can't go take out the wheels you know they kind of want to be you know not uh, exposed to uh, any environment so they're going to want to try to target cars and uh, more dark areas uh, to you know just kind of limit their exposure and stuff like that so um and last but not least block in your vehicle with another vehicle or two if needed so again some of these are extreme measures but every situation is uh different so when i uh don't park my car here i park it at work there's usually another car uh blocking me in or there's eyes on a car or there's a camera looking at it I, you know a lot of different deterrents and methods that i use because they could go anywhere and they usually try they usually follow you and see your routines for a couple of days um, especially if they're trying to take the whole car now they're just trying to do a smash and grab then uh, it may just be random so if you're going into the city or anything like that just some things for you to consider parking a parking lot with security uh, there's tons and tons of options but hopefully this video does help some of you out there puts you at ease a little bit um, and just um you know makes you sleep a little bit better at night we know that this is an issue with a lot of hondas and acuras there's not much we could do except for trying to prevent them from a targeting your specific vehicle because a lot of times they'll go and they'll take three or four different uh, cars or components from the same block so uh again they like the low-hanging fruit they don't want to work too hard they want the easy grab and that's how they make their living so again hopefully this video does help somebody out there i have most of the links in the description section down below if you have any questions make sure you do drop a comment down below and i'll try to answer each and every question so with that being said i'll catch everyone on the next one